Good morning, it's day 62. They say every journey begins with a single step, but I believe ours began over two years ago when we decided to attempt a through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Through years of preparation and training, we prepared ourselves for an adventure of a lifetime. This is our journey to Katahdin. Well, packing up in the rain hasn't been exactly what we would call our most fun morning yet, but we got it done and we're on our way down the trail. Look at what we have just come across. Yeah. It is the official or maybe unofficial, I'd have to do the math for this year's mileage, but it is a quarter way from Georgia to Maine. Nice. Yeah. Let's keep going. What do you think about today? Uh, good today. It's hard. Elevation is steep. It's so hot. Super humid. Oh yeah, I don't know what the temperature is. 64. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not hot, right? No. Nope. Wow, but with the humidity, it is just, we're sweating buckets. Whew. That was 21% degrade mm -hmm. just now. Felt like it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bye. We're about five miles in. We're going to take our lunch break. Definitely much needed today. It's been rough so far. But we'll get some lunch to fuel us up and then we'll be ready to hit the trail. Little bears over there filtering some water. And we're seeing the sun for the very first time today. It was actually raining not too long ago. We were sitting here eating. I know, I see it. Look at there. So, in an effort to try to knock some of this weight off my back, we're putting up the rain fly to see if we can get it to dry out just a little bit. So we're taking a little bit longer of a lunch break today, but this is going to be helpful if we can get this to dry out a bit and hopefully get down trail soon. Thank you, son. Wow, that's a view. Mm -hmm. I think we haven't really had any views today, have we? No. Cool. All those clouds, too. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it may rain on our parade later. Again. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Funniest part is, that doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Purist. Yeah. Such a purist. Ooh, look at that beautiful tree. Yeah, it is. Look at this thing. It is just massive. Right? I know. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer to you so you can see the scale a little bit better. Yeah, I know. Jeez. I was like, I <sighs> have no idea how you old is that. I don't know, but what a beautiful, beautiful tree. There's something moving through the bushes over there. No, I don't see it. Oh, it's another hiker. The trail goes down, oops, sorry, down that way. And I saw something moving through the trees and it's just a person walking, so that's the way the trail goes. <laughs> 
a little bit here and I were just talking and trying to determine what would be the best route for resupply this go round. We packed out um, four days of food, which is the usual. And that would get us on the fifth day, I believe, to the town of Bland, which would be two days from now. I can't remember. But anyways, and that would require us to get a shuttle, shuttle into town, get the resupply, and either try to stay at a hotel or something so we could do some laundry, shower, what have you. That would be on day four or five, I think. Um, and then have to get another shuttle back onto trail. And that's shuttle issues. It's just, it's not a big deal. Hold on, there's somebody doing maintenance down here. And it's pretty loud. Okay, ran into some maintenance crews trimming back some of this grass. Thank you so much, because we just can't help but know that this is full of ticks and we're just sloshing right through it. So thank you, thank you, maintenance crew. Um, but anyways, long story short, we were trying to figure out a better, more efficient resupply. And most people will resupply in bland, from what I understand. And again, that requires a shuttle um, into the town and then of course a shuttle back to trail and that's requires um, coordination and timing and just so on and so forth I don't know and then we ran across in far out a hostel that has a full resupply so I think that's what we're going to do tomorrow it is about 10 miles from where we'll stop today which is less miles than we would like to do, but it doesn't really matter. We can make them up the next day or the following day. But um, it's Burke's Garden Hostel, lots of great reviews. They now have a new store and resupply options that will be very convenient. And then we just head right back on trail. My bag back is so itchy. Because <sighs> it's been was, like, sweaty and hot. Yeah. So what do you think? You think that's a good idea about the resupply at Burke's Garden Hostel? What? Yeah. It'll be on day either three or four from being from, in Marion. From Marion? To Today's day two, right? So it'll be day yeah. three, which means we'll still have one day of food. We'll just need to buy three days of food when we're there and then pop right back on trail um, the very next day. So that'll be really, really nice. Yes. So yeah, let's make that our plan and we'll go forward from there. Trying to just be so efficient, right? With figuring mm -hmm. out how to coordinate all this stuff. And I think that's a great choice. Oh, look how pretty this is. It's just so beautiful. And there's the trail maintenance van. Thank you guys again. Right blaze, north. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Right about there. <laughs> Here comes the rain again. There was a second about the field full of wildflowers. As far as you can see. This grass is so tall. And the sun is blaring and the humidity is rising. Because as y'all can see, a thunderstorm is on the way.
So thankful that we're not in this exposed area though, when it decided to come. Hot, right? Yeah. I was just saying, as hot as that was, whew, I'm so thankful we weren't on that during a thunderstorm. Not during a thunderstorm, but during the rain I wasn't on. Well, yeah, but the thunderstorm, I think it's coming in the distance. I'm going to make it back into the woods. To add on to the resupply shuttle logistical planning little bear and I were doing earlier um, I know a lot of you might comment or say that you know you could always just hitch um, a lot of these towns are very very hiker friendly and many many people are just happy to help but um, we haven't stuck our thumbs out yet and I started this trip saying that I had no plans to do that you know, there's a lot of risks that you take that are just inherent with this type of adventure. That Some of them you can mitigate more than others. And some of them sometimes just feels like chance. You know, like the weather. But hitchhiking, to me, definitely feels like a risk that I can choose to take or not take. And I really still have no desire or plans to hitchhike. Now, if I was by myself, maybe, I don't know, but just not with my daughter. So I guess the only exception to that would be if um, maybe we happen to know the person. We've run into quite a few people that are subscribers that I've actually been talking to for a while, and it's been really cool to meet them. So maybe that might be an exception, maybe, but that's not really hitching. That's sort of like a chance meeting. Oh, fun. Um, or if, let's say, uh, we were with a bunch of people and we all were getting a hitch, you know, safety in numbers kind of thing. But for now, when it's just little bear and I, and we need to get from point A to point B and it involves a car, I'm just going to pay for a shuttle that is safer and, um, oops, sorry, baby that I could just trust. We have actually heard many stories of people that um, have... I'm gonna need two hands. Yeah, I'm just finishing this thought before I forget. Okay. But we've... <laughs> she said, don't go down with my phone. Yeah, no, I'm not that brave. Um, that have had great stories of hitchhiking, great luck, no issues whatsoever. But we've also heard stories where, you know, people quickly after they got into the car and started heading down the road, realized that the person was intoxicated. And yeah, no thanks. Um, we've also heard stories where the person that was driving was just not a safe driver. They were swerving all over the road, they were speeding, just not a safe driver. And then the other day at the hostel, we had um, a hiker come and talk to me because he was really upset. He got a hitch from a lady who pulled over, very, very kind. And, um, you know, he's a very, very well-mannered, kind person. And he said, oh, thank you so much, ma'am. And, you know, expressing his gratitude. And she says, very sternly, don't call me ma'am. And he was kind of like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, then, you know, a minute or so down the road, they were still talking. And because it's in his mannerisms and just his nature, he called her ma'am again by, you know, habit. Well, she basically freaked out, started screaming obscenities about, I told you not to call me ma'am, um, and pulled over the car and started screaming for him to get out, get out, get out, get out. And so he was really shooken up. So anyways, again, a million stories where hitchhiking goes perfectly fine. It's been a mode of travel for lots of people for a long time. But for a little bear and I, we'll stick to the shuttles. Just a little insight.
It's like an abandoned, rundown house or some sort. It's hard to see through the trees. Interesting. We should start counting these things. That's like number three. I don't know, lots today. Those are so not fun and a little bit scary. <laughs> About a mile from camp. Almost there. The trail is pretty much just turned into the creek. This is definitely the hardest rain that we have ever walked through. Made it to camp with I think there's a break in the rain. So grab me some water quickly from this beautiful little stream that's flowing very rapidly now. While little bears quickly putting up the tent. We still hear the rumbling of thunder and trying to get our water for our dinner and uh, get everything set up before the whole Massive amount of rain starts again. This poor person here set up obviously before the rain and they basically in a big puddle. So tough. Thankful that we got a spot. I feel like it's higher and hopefully it's going to stay drier. Because I think this is to go on most of the night. But the bright side, I believe tomorrow is going to be beautiful, I think. And we'll be at the hostel to dry all this stuff out. There's a beautiful little stream down there. It's so cute. Oh, it's actually kind of a big one now. Good. Yeah. yeah. And totally disgusting, wet, how about you? No, not that bad. Can't see it. Just our shoes. We basically were walking in a creek. Mm -hmm. Little bag. Like everything is just dirty and covered in wet. Yuck. So we forgot to tell you. We found soda in a creek. Mm hmm. Trail magic. Yay! Again, two days in a row. Yeah, it started pouring, raining. Um, so we were quickly trying to ascend the mountain and you looked over down by the creek and she goes oh my gosh trail magic I was like what and then two sodas were sitting in the creek yeah cheers don't shake them <laughs> that'd be bad yeah hello everyone and the people of the world welcome to the closing of day 62 hi everyone so how was your day it was good okay it was a day. It was hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a hard day. I think my hard day started about two miles in. Yeah. Out of a 14.1 mile day. So, yeah, it was hard. Mm 
what do you think was, well, I guess we're just jumping right into it. What were your character builders for today? Um, I would definitely say the humidity in the beginning. It was just so hot. Not even the beginning, even after the first rain. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But also, I did my hair today. <laughs> I got fancy. Okay, so, um, yeah, definitely the humidity and... The rain, I don't really mind walking in, so I guess, yeah, just the humidity. Yeah, I think to me it was the humidity, which is pretty much probably the majority of the day, even though, strangely enough, we did um, walk in rain kind of all day, so yeah. usually that takes away the humidity, but because it felt like the thunderstorms kept building up, so that's where the humidity came in, and then it would rain for a few minutes, or for a while. And then it would build back up. And so there was like three different thunderstorms kind of like all day today. Yeah. So humidity was my biggest challenge today. And then I'm not sure at like mile two, I just got really, really tired. I'm talking about mm -hmm. like when we took our five mile break for lunch, um, the thought crossed my head of, hmm, maybe we can just camp here. And then I was like, okay, no, that's not happening. But that's just how tired I was. And I don't... I don't know why. I have no mm. answers for that, but I had to push through that kind of and just suck it up, buttercup, and <laughs> just, you know, push through the day. Those are my character builders. Okay, so what was your highlight? Um, my highlight was... Difficult questioner. Getting to camp still pretty early, even though we took an hour-long lunch break. Yeah. Because we tried to dry out the tent. Um, we left at 845, so it's about 45 minutes. 47. Later. Yeah. And we still got to camp at quarter till five. And so yeah. that was cool. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have to set up in the torrential downpour that we walked mm. here through. It was still sprinkling, but it wasn't too bad, so I'm yeah. okay with that. We're still hearing thunder, so I mean, I'm thinking it's not done for the day. Yeah. So, well, that's my highlight. Um... Our lunch break was really nice. It was not raining. It was nice and sunny. Well, for like 15 minutes. I really and enjoyed... it did rain, actually, during our lunch break. I really enjoyed that 15 minutes when it was sunny. You have um, selective memory. <laughs> uh, and then getting to camp early was really nice because I didn't have to set up in the pouring rain, Oh, which is good. Oh, okay, another highlight that I just remembered. The... Trail magic. Oh, sodas, yeah, the trail magic. Creek. Yes, that was so good. I'm really glad that, like, because mm. I was going to ask for my umbrella and it was like, saw something red. I was like, what is that? It's a soda. Two. There was two left yeah. in the creek, which is really, really cool. And we packed them out and had them with dinner. So that yes. was really, really nice. We had chicken Alfredo, which was my favorite dinner. Mm -hmm. So that's another highlight, I guess. Yep. It was worth walking with a pound and a half of soda in my backpack for about three and a half miles it was yeah. worth it totally worth it totes sick so we went 14.1 miles from oh, davis campsite i think is what it was called davis, davis creek or davis. hollow yeah wherever we were last night to lynn creek is that where we are i really don't know i think so this. This. Yeah. I think it's Lynn Creek. We'll look it up. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's all for today. <laughs> Shin. <laughs> Blooper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's all for today. Uh, I'm going to play Subway Surfers. Our mom's going to play Subway Surfers for a little bit because she it's so fun i love that game she hasn't played games in a while so she's gonna play on my phone for yeah, a little we bit have time we saw several hours from that game so we're gonna challenge each other to yeah. a couple of subway surfer it's sub and 12 games. so yeah anywho good night everyone i hope you enjoy your morning because we set this out in the morning or night wherever you are but uh yeah good night everyone oh um real quick family i hope the text that i sent to you made it through probably not because we didn't really have service much today um, but we're sorry we didn't get to call you we love you so much we miss you of course and hopefully we'll be able to talk to you tomorrow yeah because we should be in something garden hostel yeah to dry all this stuff out our socks 
Our, our shirt, everything is soaked. Our shoes are soaked. Our tent is disgusting and wet and just... It's not... Hopefully we can clean up tomorrow at the hostel. Yeah. All right, so, love and light to you all. We're so thankful that you're here and on this journey with us. Bye. Bye.